How's it going, everyone? This is Shadow Trainer 1030, and today's video, as you can see, the screen next to me, we got some very exciting news that came from Twitter. That the name Shiny Hunter. Hopefully, I'm pronouncing the name right. Forgive me not. Anyways, um, this person had uh, tweeted and um, saying that uh, some players had their shadow bands removed, and not only that, the 8-bit sprints have also been removed as well, or AKA the April Fool's joke thing. So yeah, very good day for players who haven't played Pokemon Go ever since uh, Friday, Friday or last Saturday, depending on whatever day you haven't played it. There's also been a tweet reply that's saying that their thing has been removed as well, also the uh, the red warning and stuff like that. So really good day for Pokemon Go players, my, that's my personal opinion. Now uh, I'm going to get into of why this is a good thing and what bad thing here. So let's start with the most positive here. here. So the positive thing here is that it's a perfect timing for uh, the, the the secret event. Hopefully I'm saying that right. Uh, there has been a lot of speculation saying that it's going to have increased spawn rates of Gen 1 Pokemon. Uh, maybe possibility return of uh, legendary Pokemon and so forth. Now secondly, the uh, Mareep event is coming up very soon so players are not going to have to worry about that. Now for the negative thing here which I don't usually go with negatives here. So the problem is that um, if you end up um, spoofing again on your iOS de device, if you have Android, then you don't need to worry about it. But for iOS users, um, if you're planning to spoof again, and I recommend you don't until uh, someone or whoever finds a way to get around the a API system that Niantic has uh, made. Alright, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to switch over to my other account to see if it has the shadow ban warning, whatever kind of stuff. If it doesn't have that, then great news for me because I have stopped playing this game last week. Now, if it's still there, then pretty much I'm going to have to wait another week for it to be removed. So yeah, like I said, guys, I have not opened my account for a week. So I'm going to see if it has been removed. Up, ah, as you see, it's still there. Yep, it is still there. So yeah, uh, that basically, I don't know if this is only for Friday's people who haven't played the game or for people who haven't played the week at all. So I, I don't really know if this would mean that um, it's only for some players, though, who have been lucky enough to get this removed. But for me, I haven't got it removed yet, so that would mean I'll have to wait, wait another week uh, for, so for it to be removed. Or uh, Sunday, which hopefully that would be the case. Now, speaking of the Community Day events, as I mentioned earlier, uh, the Mareep's um, exclusive move that Ambrose is going to learn is uh, Dragon Pulse. And the reason is because if you play the original Pokemon games, uh, apparently the Mega Evolution of uh, Ambrose knew, learned, knew the Dragon Knight Dragon type move. Um, so I know that players are probably going to be asking me, uh, Sh Shadow Trainer, if if we still have the shadow ban and a red red morning, uh, is the uh, are we not going to be able to get the uh, baristas and stuff like that, including the shiny? Well, to answer your question, I don't really think you can find them in the uh, the radar because um, it's pretty like uncommon or rare, whatever kind of thing. So yeah, uh, you won't be able to get that thing. But however, if you have if you do have some instances, then I think you are able to spawn in the uh, Mareeps. I don't really know though. That's just what I heard. From other players, but don't quote me if I'm wrong. So yeah, that's all I got, guys. Um, I know it's a very short video, but the main purpose of this video is to let you guys know that the uh, there's been reports from some trainers that their shout bans, red warnings have been removed, and there's unlucky players like me that has it not been removed yet. So hopefully next week I'll be able to have it removed before Sunday, or exactly on Sunday. See, I don't really know which of those two days I should wait, though, but please let me know in the comments below. It would really be appreciated, though, because like I already said already, I have not played the game for a week. Because last Saturday, I woke up one morning, and I noticed that I got the, the red warning. So I just had my avatar character walk around the area. That was it, and I switched over to the other account. And then I just decided just to stop playing the game, and now it's been a week since I haven't played the game. 
So yeah, um, hopefully uh, we get everything all settled and stuff like that. Hopefully I'll be able to still be able to get the meal for you guys. I still want to be able to uh, record and get my reaction and stuff like that, me catching the meal. But uh, I don't really know don't, don't know what to say, guys. If you still have the, uh, the Shadow Man Red Warning, I do recommend you still wait another week. If you're still spoofing, then that is your free choice, though. But do keep yourself in mind that the... Uh, the shadow ban and red warning will not go away. It will extend yours for another two weeks. So if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Check out my channel, subscribe, or bell for more gameplay videos. And I will see you all in the next video.